unplugged it. Fuck you, fuck. I forgot. I'm sorry. I unplugged it because I needed to plug in the. I had to plug in the hard drive. Why? Be- because the hard drive holds all of the extra footage that we have, and <laughs> that's where it plugs in at. It was turned off, right? <laughs> So I just unplugged it. Everything's moved over. We're safe, right? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're good. good. Everything's good. We've only lost one hard drive in our life. Yeah, only one what? so far. Where? It's under the thing. It's under the box. Yeah. Uh, Fourteen. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Now yeah, let's try this guy. Cheers. I'm interested if it does taste like a normal one. It smells really good. Hmm. Tequila? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a margarita. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was still kind of angry from driving. Yeah, um. No, nothing different. I can't. It's pretty good, though. It's. I mean, it's a good margarita, that's for sure. I like the mix that I put in there, but I'm not sure about the. The syrup that I don't think I could taste anything in it. It's just a nice color. Yeah, it does make it pretty. Yeah, it looks pretty. Which is fucking dope. Which is easy. I mean, I that's yeah. easy enough to do. I can do that for the coloring. It's cool. Like, do 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 you want a yes. snack? Yes, I do. We do. Let's... Well, we got these from Chrissy. Wow, those are expensive. There are these. You can eat them. And the booze. The booze. We're going to try them. So we got bourbon, bourbon, whiskey, oh, whiskey, that's, whiskey, that's whiskey, nice. whiskey, bourbon, bourbon, bourbon. I love how it's a Smith and Sinclair, and then you open the box and it says. Oh, that's Sinclair. fucking dope. That's my that's apple level packaging. I thought. Oh, we got whiskey sour, whiskey and ginger, Manhattan, mm. and old fashions. I'm assuming we want to try the old fashions. Might as well, yeah. Obviously, they're just one of each, right? No, there's three of the old fashions. Those oh, are okay. Bigger than I thought they were. Okay, okay. I'm very excited. We have the alcohol gummies. Each one of these is supposed to be five percent. <laughs> Before we recorded, I was like, I need to make sure I know how to open the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gummy. I don't know why. For some reason, I thought they'd be like chocolates. I thought they'd be small. Hmm. Pretty damn good. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. It's like the (laughs) (laughs) instant zooted because you know how edibles affect me. Maybe alcohol's the same way. Well, like, I mean, they definitely, um, they're reminiscent of an old fashioned. They're very pretty. Mm. I like them. Mm hmm. That's cool. I want to try another one, <laughs> but they're alcoholic, so I don't want to try another one right now. I mean, well, it's 5% of that. We think. Well, it can't be more than that. They couldn't have... There's no way they overloaded it so much that, like, it's equivalent... That is an equivalent to 5% of a cocktail. We can figure out a way. Because even then, like, a cocktail is... I mean, this thing's probably got to be at least, like, 30%, 40% alcohol. Mm Mm-hmm. Total, something like that. I don't know. More than that, but... Well, yeah, yeah, probably. More than that, yeah. Yeah, but shit. Can you imagine that? Yeah, if you had fucking like gummies that were just these just plowed you, you're like mother. Dude, it's like fucking like I said with edibles, man. How many times have you taken an edible? But they don't affect you. But like you guys, you ever taken an edible accidentally? Or thought it was ten milligrams and it was a hundred? Shit hits. Shit, it's hard. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Really quick. Can no. Can you uh, turn my knob up a second? It's the first one over there. Yep. Just. 
Yeah, go for it right there. All right, let's leave it here for now. Let's see if that does anything. Good. Apparently, yeah. I talk. I I, t- I tend. I guess I tend to talk quiet, and I don't move my mic super close to my face. Yeah, I tend to like lounge, and the mic is usually like right here by the end. Yeah, I just uh, never. I never like move weirdly. Yeah, well, that's your tism. No, usually all I do it. Oh well, my usually mine's my foot. Yeah. Also, mm-hmm. you you have the thingy, the yeah. switcher. Yeah. So I'm preoccupied. I'm always like the thingy, the buttons. I fucking miss it. Forget. Yeah. It's good. I li- it's a good margarita. Yeah. The mix I put, I'm happy with it. I like. I did a curacao mix. You could sell that at an Applebee's for like eight dollars. You're not wrong. I could sell that. We should just go to Applebee's with your your cocktail set. <laughs> Dude, it'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, no, they, it, it, to be honest, and yeah, they're no, they would charge. They would have to charge like twelve or thirteen oh, yeah. because they went through the labor of like mixing a thing. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing: is like, can you taste anything other than like the tequila and stuff? No, no, yeah, you can't really taste. It's not potent enough. I'd have to really. I think if I'm going to do it, I'm going to need to do it a better way. I did, uh, so, because if we're, we're far enough, I'm going to fuck, but it's, uh, hibiscus dragon fruit syrup. Dragon fruit really isn't much of a flavor. It just makes things really pink like this. So does hibiscus, but the hi- hibiscus I got was just like tea. It's a hibiscus tea from Meyer because, I mean... I bought it today. I didn't have time to go shopping, and I just steeped the water in the hibiscus before I added it to the syrup, and then made syrup with the water. But you know what we could do? Yes. We only make one change. Yeah. Gold flakes. We call our pretty pretty princess drink. You're not wrong. Dude, it would that that would look so pretty. Like, if you hold it up in the light, yeah. Because I held it up in the light, and like it does shimmer a little. No, I mean here's my things. I am very happy with it. It's a good drink. I think I do still want to use dragon fruit because I love that color. Mm -hmm. But like, I gotta I gotta eat I gotta really bump up the hibiscus by getting like real hibiscus. I'm trying that, and then uh, if that works, then like I think it'd be nice. I think it'd be an extra thing, or add another fruit or something to it because it, you know, dragon fruit's more for a color. If I added like a, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like berries you can eat that you're not allergic to. I mean, you're probably technically allergic to that because it's pink. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so you were like, have you had dragon fruit before? I was like, I think so. <laughs> but then like in my head, I was like, did I have an allergic reaction to it? I don't recall. God damn. You know what's funny? It's like every, a lot of the times I keep making this guy, I forget that. I forget to do the goddamn dry shake with the foam so that it gets this head on it. Mm. And it makes a difference. Typical man. Yeah. Forgetting the head. smells really fucking good yeah it makes a difference mm. but speaking so of tea yes <sighs> yes <laughs> what tea you got sir do you hear about that tea company that's like founded by a cultist yes i don't remember it's like celestial tea or some shit something like that yeah, I, yeah. I remember reading a couple of people freaking out about like apparently yeah the guy is like weirdly cultish yeah and i and i'm like wait what and then they like, found it it was like secretly and some shit yeah i watched a whole video on it i don't remember a lot of it but it was like i don't want to say it was like scientology because i don't want to call scientology a cult even though it is but you know we're trying to get into hollywood so we gotta be nice look realistically like every it, it, it's some form every religion oh, is yeah. a cult in some form some it's just way. Once you, it, a cult is a tiny religion that does, is, is a small unsuccessful religion yeah basically yeah but yeah this this tea guy was like super culty 
Like it's fucking crazy. Yeah, had fucking like a a little mini harem and was like, thought he was like a messiah and shit. It's wild. I don't understand the idea of thinking you're a messiah. Like, I, I mean, I I could never go that far. No, like even in my mind, like if I if I'm really trying to think, like, like in the moments of your life where you actually feel confident in yourself and you like, you know, you you did something really cool, so you're like, oh, I'm fucking great. Like, never once have I ever really thought like, oh yeah, like I'm a fucking. Yeah, and I get humbled quick too. Like, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm I'm quick to humble yeah. myself. Yeah, it, usually it is me humbling myself. Like, uh, fucking, I can't think of an example of where I thought I was really cool, which is me humbling myself right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, well, I, I mean, shit. <laughs> Most of the time, it's just I don't know. I'm like, I, I like if people talk about like you know the like when I was in the band and shit. Like, yeah, that those that were, was really cool. Those are some times where I was kind of like, ah, well, I mean, look, I'll, I'll. In my opinion, still, it's one of those, like, yes, we did some cool, we did, like, a couple cool things, but, like, I mean, it, you know. I, I have an example. Yeah. And it, I, I know people realize this about me, but the made photo shoot. That was probably the closest I've ever gotten to, like, not even feeling like a god, but, like, feeling like the best version of me. <laughs> like, the confidence no, and, like, the, ooh. That- the made photo shoot thing, it did a lot better than we expected yeah. it was going to do. It really did. Because we were like, this will be really funny to be like, hey, this is a funny photo shoot we did. Please like our channel. Yeah. We just want to see if we can get it to 69. Because that, that's how early it was. We were yeah. like, let's get, the chan- let's get the number to 69. And we did. And yeah. then like, we got it to 70 something. And now it's at 140. 140 but something. Like, that was really funny. I was because, dude, we got we do have to do more photo shoots just because I want to, it, man. They're it, fun. It was really fun. They're r- relatively they're not cost effective, but they're no. not cost effective because we don't we're not assholes. We don't make money either. Yeah, we, we don't make do. money, and we actually make sure we pay our friends. Although <laughs> I checked our social blade again. It says that we're projected to make upwards of three hundred dollars a year. So we've like Whoa. we've gone from like the 50, 50 cents to nine dollars to like nine to fifty three dollars to like something to three hundred now. Dude, it's it's fucking wild. Well, they're like just like feeding into the algorithm. Yeah. Right? Like when you're just like, oh, okay, well, we'll do the shorts, and you've been actually doing them. I've I slacked the last couple of weeks, it, understandably it, so. But yeah, it's been. Yeah. yeah. Oh God, we haven't even. No, and we're not going to talk no, about that. But it was. Uh, <laughs> um. No, it was fucking. It's just been funny to see those like going up and like watching the numbers. Be like, whoa, dude. What's real funny is the the Kid Rock also, one we sorry. did. Also watching like, cause I'll look at some of those, and like those actually have like retention rates versus like a lot of our podcasts are yeah. like oh like they don't make it past the intro <laughs> like don't even make it past that man. like some of them it's like it's four <laughs> seconds past the intro and it's probably because like they were du- they were like oh fuck this isn't what i want to listen to and mm. they like had to run out of the bathroom to like find their controller with their like pants yeah. halfway around their legs <laughs> trying to like turn it off like fuck that's not it uh, but that's all right man like, yeah no 100 yeah. percent but the shorts, the fucking, the Kid Rock one was cool because it was like, I saw other people after that and like, I went to uh, uh, someone's house, I won't name them on here, but I went to their house with, with Chrissy and they were like, dude, I was just scrolling TikTok and I was like, oh nice, what were you watching? And they were like, you? <laughs> and I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I it, it, it honestly I will say I think in the weirdest way that might have been one of our most impressive feats as terrible of a video as it yeah. is. Dude, the money shot so many people were like, "How did you do that?" And I'm like, "That truly yeah, truly an accident." Completely accident and I won. As soon as it happened and it hit me in the face, I knew I was like, "Okay, 
this was gold. It worked <laughs> out. And I was like, but I completely missed my beer because it as it as I w- as like you see like as I go to like strike my beer, it just straight drills me into the forehead, and I'm like closing my eyes to not get beer in them, and I'm like I miss, and I'm like oh shit, and I just like hit it way too high. <laughs> so when I did try to finish shotgunning my beer, like I realized I was like without like literally like throwing myself off balance, which you see me fall, yeah. which was me kind of like trying to like. I was trying to kind of get it, and I, like, came back the wrong way. And I was just like, ah, dude, that was... But, no, that money shot was so... Dude, it was funny. gold. It was gold, man. But the fact that we did... We, I mean, look, that was a one-shot, obviously. Like, yeah. I mean, we one-shot took that because we got covered in beer. Yeah. And we edited it in fucking... I mean, it's a 10-second video. So dude, it, we it, did that quick. Yeah. Because, like... It was edited, it was shot, edited, uploaded, and then that night, I was at somebody else's house, and they were like, bro, when did you do this? And I was like, oh, like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> like, we just uploaded it. I'm uh, glad you're in the algorithm, yeah. I guess. It was quick. Well, it's just funny, too, yeah, that line. I was like, all right, fuck it. We, we can do a video. It's just like, it, it does have to be that quick and short. Yeah. I mean... To be fair, we did stand around for a solid like, cut like five minutes before because we we're like, all right, yeah. are we ready to shotgun beers like on a Tuesday? <laughs> also, like having never really shotgun beers, which I think yeah, is kind of th- obvious. I think we've for both me. done it twice. Yeah, it's been yeah. very, and it, it's been a long time yeah. since. That said, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It was yeah. just because we had the pressure of having the. Knowing we needed to do it as quick as we did for the video, but and try not to react because our whole thing was like, at least my whole vibe with it was like toxic oh, masculinity vibes, you know, like to counteract the actual toxic masculinity because I'm in a maid outfit, you know. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I forgot who said who. I uh I showed uh, someone saw that and they were like I love the uh love the legs or something like as a joke. Yeah. It's like <laughs> that's fun. Uh, but also it felt weird to be back in the maid costumes. Yeah, with I've worn it a few times. Um, I haven't worn it since we did the shoot. Yeah, I know. Like I've done it a lot as we know. Yeah. Um but fucking I, I I do have to say it felt nice seeing you in it again too because I was like it's not just me, <laughs> dude. We gotta like, it, like I know we want to do the calendar for like. Here's the thing is like, after having done the the shirts thing, like, yeah, we really don't have any traction. So it's yeah, like it's hard to no do one's, merch. Yeah, no one's no one's gonna buy. Uh. We got another at least year or two before yeah. anyone's willing to actually purchase things to a number of a gr- degree. I think what we could do, other than the shirts we've talked about, yeah, yeah. What what I think what we could do is instead of making a calendar, we just we we do a photo shoot or some shit, and then I will edit one of the photos to be like June with the dates, and then people will be like, what? <laughs> And, like, we should go from there and see if maybe someone will buy it. No, but, for sure. I think that – I mean, that's the thing. Is that it would be funny to, like, just – because they do have, like, custom, ca- mm-hmm. like, calendar things out there. It's, like, print-on-demand stuff, too. So, it's, like, we wouldn't have to have the stockpile of merch. We'd make less profit, but, you know. 100%. And here's the thing. Is I think also with something like that, I think it would be funny to donate it to charity instead of, like, making money on it. True. Like, just – I mean, do our best to try and recoup, but also, like... Yeah, don't make the profits. Yeah. Yeah, it, but it'd be fun. And then also, like, because we, like, we know Jeff's the one that we're going to have to do it, and he would be down and be like, oh, b- bro, this would be funny as fuck. We yeah. just need to come up with a calendar's worth of... Of ideas, yeah. I mean, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to take a sip of this. <laughs> It is very good, actually. Yeah. It's a lot better when I actually get the foam on there. And I, now that I, because I've tried this a couple times now since, I made my, um, 
I made mean, my sister and my brother-in-law try it at Dude, Easter. I keep forgetting you have a sister, man. Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's, uh... I, I see... I don't get to see her a lot, but she's awesome. She's really fucking cool. Uh, hold on. We were talking about... It's in my notes. I know it's in my notes. Yeah, we've, we've, we've made notes. Um, fuck. It, where is it? It's, it should be, um, God damn it. What were we talking about? <laughs> the calendar, motherfucker. Sorry, calendar. <laughs> it's been a while. So, God damn. It hasn't been that long since we talked about it. Because I know we fucked or talked about it for a second. We fucked. We fucked. Um, I'm glad you were on main cam. Because I, I, as soon as you said we fucked uh, and talked about it, I looked up like, what? Dude, I can't fucking find this thing. I do remember what we had planned for September. <laughs> I okay, so like yeah, I, I, we're definitely late enough in yeah, this. Out there. I want to so, do that so bad. I think what's funny is like, oh, I found it. Yes, we. I haven't updated this thing since two thousand and twenty-one. That's the last. That's when we yeah. first came up with the idea of doing this calendar. So I, obviously, January is New Year's, yeah. February Cupid, March St. Patty's Day, uh, April we wanted to do a rain photo shoot because it April showers, April showers bring May flowers, yeah. and then and we May were we flowers. were going to do a flower one, yeah. <laughs> June we were going to do rainbows, gay pride, gay pride. Uh, July fourth it was going to be like America, but also you focus because it's your birthday month. Yeah. Um, August. <laughs> what did you write for August? <laughs> Extra credit schoolgirl teacher? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because back to school. <laughs> <laughs> September. 9-11. Lord of the Rings Legolas down the stairs Twin Towers reference. Because <laughs> 9-11. <laughs> 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 I still we should do that. It's gonna it like cause it's the problem is now is like the one person that's gonna get it is probably gonna listen to this and yeah. it's probably just Mark. And it's like yeah. it's like it's Mark and Jen. Like the <laughs> Yeah. But I also think that's the one we go all out on. Like everything else is like me and you. It's good. But it's not like great. And then that one is no. like that one fucking it looks like a screenshot from that one movie. we hire Allie yeah and we're like alright no I didn't know we couldn't afford it that'd be it, that'd be the uh, entire budget yeah but for a 9-11 we'll joke no we can <laughs> and we can still do something with it yeah we can figure that out uh, uh, Halloween's easy uh, and then Pilgrim's Indians Turkey yeah um, and Santa's Helper but like, I mean, I like, so what's funny is I might have said this before on the podcast, but, um, so Melissa and one of her cousins have this like inside joke amongst themselves where they just talk about nine eleven because it's like such a traumatic fucked up thing that, that mm -hmm. that's their traumatic joke about. So like. I am part of this, like, tech. It's just me and them two, and it's a text thread. And 99% of it is only 9 11 memes. Like, on their birthdays, they will send each other, like, a 9 11 meme. Like, they will look for it, and that's like, they're like, happy birthday. Here's a, a also, like, here's this 9 11 meme. So, I, I feel like there's a part of me that's like, we have to make the joke. Also because, like, I mean, it's not like this calendar is actually going to be national to the point that, like, people will be outraged. Yeah. It's just going to be a bunch of our friends being like, ha and there might be, like, one guy that's like, hey. What we could do is we just dress up as two planes 
And it's just me and you standing like this, thumbs up. <laughs> it's it's you know, very obvious. <laughs> <laughs> What's terrible is like for some reason I got the thought of us dressing up as like towers. <sighs> And us doing like the holding hands thing, or or like, re- okay. So realistically, it wasn't the holding hands thing. It was like the like the uh, Chinese dick trap with the finger traps. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, but the ten towers were connected like that. Uh, but we could just be buildings, or we could do like we're we're we have part of the outfit over there. We could be kids we're building blocks and then one of us is playing with the plane <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh it's fucked up i know oh, but people like died. look 9-11 memes are funny like, dude they're here, hilarious here's the thing uh, the only people that are listening at this point would agree with us we we grew up when it happened. Yeah, but we were dude, too young I, to I process. legitimately that was the first time I was like, my dad could die. Like that was me understanding death. Like it was my dad wild. had already died. True, dude. True. My dad didn't see nine eleven. That's fucking wild. Dude, he died like four months before nine eleven. Three months. Ju- hold on, July. August. Yeah, three. Two months? Hold on. <laughs> I'm bad at that. He died on 9 11? No, it's what? July, but like. 12? No. Thank God. 24th. 12 times 2. Okay, hold on. So he's either June 24th or July 24th. I want to say it's July 24th. I'm also really bad because I, I will feel Dude, guilty dates are because. difficult, though. I will literally feel bad that like I'm like my dad died when I was nine and I can't remember the date he died on. Dude, I like, get it. but I, I know it's around. It, I it's either June twenty fourth or July twenty fourth because I, I want to say July twenty fourth because I remember it being twelve days from my brother's birthday. Yeah, which is really sad for him. Mm-hmm. But like, also twelve times two. Now you have two twelves. One hundred forty four. <laughs> Is that the episode wrong? No. <laughs> oh, thank God. 131. Oh. Oh. No, but that's 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 understandable, man. My I don't remember my uncle the date he passed away. I know it was I in April. My mom's birthday. I don't forget my mom's birthday. Yeah, I'm a horrible with dates. Yeah, I, I know. Okay. I used to get it mixed up only because everyone in the family told me it was April 23rd. Yeah. It is April 25th, which as many as you know. This is the perfect date. Miss Congeniality. Hey. Yeah, which is why I don't forget it. Well, I continuous. I would almost always forget my mom's birthday. Not like, like I would have it about three years ago. I had it set in my phone, right? Yeah, and it I went off. That. And I texted my mom. I was like, "Happy birthday!" And she was like, "You're a month early, but thanks." And I was like. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> and then I was like, shit, all right. No, it's October 23rd. Uh. The year, uh, because she's a woman, I'm not going to tell you. 1992. It's not, be- it's not because I don't remember. <laughs> I'm, uh. I am so bad. Dude, my mom was born in 1971. I'm bad with dates too, but there's a reason I know my mom's birth year. Okay. It's because she's two years younger than my dad, who was born in 1969. Nice. Do you want to know how I remember his birthday? Because he's a man and I appreciate him more. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he left. <laughs> no, I'm talking I'm about my, my 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 Sorry, my Al. stepdad. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Ooh, I felt weird. Yeah, don't call him out. I know. I'm just it's so weird. It it's in a weird. I I've. I know I can call him, d- dad. Well, dad. I don't, I'll tell you this. My mom. But I don't even call me. Bill dad. That's yeah. like why it's weird. But I'll tell you this. My mom texted me, 
picture of like a hundred dollar bottle of rye whiskey and i was like oh that looks good you know what her response was yeah your dad bought it and he said we should get some for brandon (laughs) not me (laughs) (laughs) rye whiskey (laughs) is my favorite whiskey (laughs) which one was it I got it in my phone somewhere. I'll pull it oh up for you. Oh my god! Yeah, you can call him dad. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. You're funny as fuck. <laughs> Thanks, dad. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I. It's weird. Like, I'll call. Bill. No, I get it. I call Bill. Bill. I will call Bill dad to you, but I. Like, I feel like it, you when only he's call, there, him I call him dad Bill. to me because of the whole stepdad shit for me. Like, no, it is that, but like I, I should call him dad at this point. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, like, it, and I have thought about this too, where like, there is no doubt in my mind that I am a a large chunk of percentage of my personality came from my actual dad because yeah. I've had pl- so many of my cousins basically be like, yeah, your dad was like this and like this, and he was a stoner and all those things, and I'm like, oh shit, yeah. That's that's, that's kind of me, but there's also like I have a genuine I, I I have a general just like very chill, calm demeanor, and I just kind of don't really react to much of anything. And that's I think I got that from just observing Bill. Yeah, in my team so from Bill's, like, Bill's chill. Bill is super fucking chill. He doesn't really react to anything at all. So like. You know, you kind of just... I, I, I'm pretty much like that. I kind of just like, okay, I guess this happened. I don't know. But, like, it's weird. So I do see there's, like... There's definitely a bit of Bill in me, even though he's not biologically my dad. Mm-hmm. Look, if he was in me, it'd be a lot. <laughs> it'd be a problem. It'd be a real problem, because, like... Look, I have gone on... Uh, I've gone to... It was Big Bear, or no, not Big Bear, Great Wolf Lodge. It's not hmm. Kalahari, but it's the other one. It's like Kalahari. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, that dude's hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 10 minutes ago, we were making fun of 9 11. Yeah. I I have no idea what to call this episode. <laughs> I mean, there's no it, <laughs> Miss Congeniality. Uh, not really, but I don't know. Either way, it's uh, <laughs> we're only thirty in. I know. That's funny, um, <laughs> dude. So on Monday, so the day we're filming this is the week after Easter weekend yeah um easter was two days ago yeah it was sunday so he is risen he's he is i yeah he's risen he got this morning wood it's ironic as i used jesus in a thumbnail like two weeks ago (laughs) well what's funny is it came out the day after easter and it worked out perfectly because it came out monday i didn't put that together at all yeah holy shit yeah, I saw that and I was like, hey, "That's funny." So I don't. I I know you didn't plan it, but it worked out. No, I just had that photo. Like I didn't even download it. I was going through all of my PNGs looking for uh, the fireball. Yeah, and it just said Jesus, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> I clicked it. and was like, "It's going in." <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> but um, no, I was um. On Monday, I forgot that, like, because this is new to our contract. Apparently, they worked in, like, for good East, like, good Friday. We also yeah. get the actual Monday after Easter off now. And I didn't remember that. So I woke up on Monday and I drove into work. And the only people that were working are Me. the the final line. Not, or it's like final and repair. Yeah. And so I drove in, and I was like, it's only the front section of cars. And I was like, no. No. <laughs> and I texted a co-worker, because I was like, look, it's the it, it's after a holiday. 
and there's the chance that be, because I work on an A, B, and C shift, C shift will work from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. or mm-hmm. so, sorry, 10 a, or 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So like, there's usually that chunk of cars that would be there. So I was like, all right, maybe because it was Easter, they didn't make them come in. So maybe I'm just like super early, and all these cars at the tr- front here are the early birds that get here like fucking yeah, not in the last early. half hour like yeah. everyone else does. It, 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 no, uh, luckily my one coworker happened to text me back right away. He was like, "Yeah, no, we're off," and I was like fuck so i drove i had like just i just drove right the fuck out of there i did get mcdonald's because like it's a weird habit of mine now that when i leave work early or if, if i leave work early or drive to work when i shouldn't have uh i'll just get myself breakfast on the way home you're getting yourself a treat for fucking up yeah yeah and it's like, but it, also, it's one of those things where it's like, it's the one time I'm by myself because she doesn't eat, Melissa does not yeah. eat fast food. Like, she will sometimes eat, she'll eat the fries at McDonald's when I stop and get McDonald's on the way home at sometimes. Mm. Like, she doesn't, it, it really fucks her up because she didn't eat it as a kid. So, uh, dude, I just like stopped and I got McDonald's and I got the steak, egg, and cheese bagel, like the bagel. I don't like it. I do. I get why people do, but I just, I taste like ass and not in a good way to me. It's not amazing, but like I will say in a weird way, I do still like it sometimes better than an egg McMuffin. Just because most of the time the egg McMuffins are too greasy, like they they are that yeah. they're greasy and the steak like. I usually just get the hash browns. Even those though, yeah. like, they, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't even care about any of the other breakfasts. I just want the fucking hash browns. See, the main thing I'll usually get if I go to McDonald's is the tacos. The bre- or sorry, the breakfast burritos. They have those now. Yes, mm-hmm. they've had them forever. For I mean, not ever, but I mean, it's been. I know they haven't had them forever because my uncle was a McDonald's guy. No, sorry, they did not have them forever, but they introduced them somewhere in the mid two thousands. Okay, they have that's been probably why since. I don't know because I stopped having it when I stopped going to Kansas every summer. That's fair. Yeah. So, no, uh, unfortunately, McDonald's is like now that they have the app, and they continuously have on their app the deal where you can buy a double cheeseburger and get one for like. 29 cents instead of like the full two dollars and whatever it's it's a really it's a good deal so like i'll stop in and get that also like we've talked about it fucking mcdonald's has just nailed the texture in there's that shitty like gelatinous greasy texture that they have nailed that i will crave i i will i i have to say it's grossing me out now though like I had McDonald's uh, Sunday, and it like it it just grossed me out. Yeah, like I got the quarter pounder, and like it was literally just fucking grease. See, you know, I think the so the problem with that is I think that becomes a ratio issue Mm. because you got the quarter pounder, which gets those thicker they get the thicker patties and because it's it, it, look we're not gonna lie like it's not it's, not, it's not 100% yeah. beef it is not it, it is processed as fuck so like that amount of beef is going to have significantly more fat than it should versus if you get like a Big Mac or any of the other burgers those patties are so thin that you can get like a decent ratio of shit grease to meat. <laughs> decent ratio of shit to shit. Yeah. yeah versus like, in it, it's there's there's probably a lot of extra grease in that thing. Dude, it fucking like drips. Uh, that you also yeah. could have gone to a bad McDonald's because probably. I have probably. I have you had times where there are different times too where like the double cheeseburger is a little extra greasier than the other one and. Yeah. yeah, it was also it was after I dropped DeAndre off. It was late. It was like one in the morning. 
Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. fries fucking slapped, though. Yeah. Like, those are the best McDonald's fries I've had in a minute. Well, it's like, I mean, you really can, like, get... It, 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 they can vary depending on your the McDonald's you go to. And also, like, how busy are they? Because, like, if they're really busy... It's it to me if it's really busy, it's a solid like seventy to thirty percent like that you're gonna get a good meal, but like if it's not very busy, like I've had luck out here, like where when I've gone to the McDonald's that there are the two McDonald's locations this way that I hit. Yeah. But like, well, there's three, but I I rarely. Yeah, you don't want to stop at that one. I know which one you're talking about. You don't want to stop at that one. The one by the hill. Yeah. See, that's the one I hit. So here's the problem. is Because I'm out in Oxford, mm-hmm. the two other locations that are this way close early because it's so much further out versus True. that one's close to a highway. That one, so that one is out. really good after, like, fucking six. Because like, I've, I've worked second shift right there, and it's like you forget your lunch there's nothing open you gotta no. go to mcdonald's but yeah. that one slaps at night yeah. no and that's the thing is i only hit it like at night yeah the only time i ever hit that mcdonald's is like 90 percent of the time it's like me and melissa went to a concert or some show yeah in detroit and we're driving home and that's like the closest mcdonald's that will be open to serve food to the house so i'll hit it and then yeah. just drive home but, uh, speaking of going to a concert, uh, I'm going to see Louis Capaldi on Saturday. Future Edie, how was it? Was it good? Was it fun? I don't know who that is. He, he's the, the, I don't want to call him fat, but he's the fat, um, Australian or Scottish? Scottish? He's a singer. He's really fucking good. Yeah. Dude's hilarious, too. See, that's, unfortunately, my music tastes don't really venture much far off of a metal genre. Yeah. Mine, like, I, I do a lot of love ballads. Yeah, that's which fair. Which fucking, have you, you, we haven't, neither of us have seen the new Mario movie, but have you seen the fucking Jack Black Peaches? No, okay. Bro. We legitimately should go see Mario. I want to, but I literally have no time. Okay, I know we talked about doing stuff on Thursday, <laughs> but would you rather we just should. go get dinner and some drinks and then go see Mario? Because, like, the Oxford Tap is right there. We can go there, get dinner, True. have some drinks, get a little tipsy, go enjoy Mario, and then go home. I would like that, but I'm also working in Lansing this week. So I have to be up at 4 a.m. every day. Oh, yeah. so you're out in Lansing. Yep. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, that's why I, I texted you, like, I will see you in an hour and a half today. Yeah, that's all I, th- I just thought you went home and changed and then <laughs> yeah. came back. That's, that's what I thought. I was waiting for you to be like, what? Why? <laughs> Well, to be fair, like half the time it takes that long when you say like, "Hey, I'm gonna go home and change or, you know, but, feed yeah. the cats, whatever." Yeah, that. But I did say heading your way now. In an hour and a half. See you in an hour and a half. No, you did. Yeah. And I, but I just expected that because you had to run home or whatever for something real quick. I was like, "Oh, okay, whatever." That's you. You've done that the last two times. So I was like, "That makes sense." And then I was like, "Oh, okay." And I just wanted to check because. Melissa was on her way home, and she said that it looked like there was some heavy tra- there was heavy traffic on there, and I was like, okay, well, like, I just want to double check that it's not involving Edie, so I'll just shoot you. Like, Are you good? And you're like, yeah, I'm on the way. I'm like, cool, perfect. That's yeah. all. I- Dude, what's funny is <laughs> I'll always be driving, and I'm like, fuck, this is taking forever, and then I'm like five minutes out from your house, and then it'll just go, ding. You good? Yeah, I'm like right around the corner, man. <laughs> like. <laughs> Well, it's one of those things where I try to, like, give you that extra leeway yeah. of, like, extra time. But, like, once you crack the, like, 15-minute to 20-minute window from when you said you would be there, I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm just going to double-check you didn't accidentally get in an accident or that you didn't get pulled over because 
the cops out here like to pull people over. Oh, dude, believe me, I drive slow as fuck out here. Yeah. 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 But no, it, it always a... sucks. Cause you give me like the 15, 20 minute leeway, which is good. But I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming uh... from like shitty directions all the time. Yeah. Like, sh- when I come from Detroit, it's like yeah, an hour, yeah. roughly. But it's like 75. <laughs> Is fucked. Yes. And when I'm coming from Lansing, it should be an hour and a half. But for some god awful reason, everybody's going sixty and a seventy five, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, it's yeah, it's like one being. There was like two hundred semis. Why? Honestly, like, here's a. Unfortunately, I feel like that might just be the 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 traffic that comes out of Lansing. It is. So you're like fuck yeah it doesn't go all the way towards here but the first like 45 minutes of the drive is like all semis yeah see i didn't realize you were out in lansing so i was like okay yeah whatever that that must be it i didn't bother i didn't want to be like i didn't want to feel like an asshole and be like why the fuck is it gonna be an hour and a half are you gonna like I gotta go pee pee. I was like, you're gonna go home and do like nine chores and then show up. <laughs> I was like, because even then, like, no. It was like, no. I was like, I figured you just go home and change and then come. That was it and come back. I I should bring an extra set of clothes because the fucking factory is hot as balls in there. Well, and that's what I thought about today too. Was like today was the day where they it, it like really yeah. officially switched to spring. It's so gonna be like, forty next week. Yeah. Oops. Well, God damn it. last week. Yeah. Well, yeah. it was hot as fuck today, and I was like, all right, maybe he was just super sweaty and wanted to go home and change. I did want to, but I was like, it would have been an hour and 40 minutes to get to my house, or an hour and 30 to get to yours, and I was confused, so I just went to your house. Yeah, no, that's fair. No, uh, I mean, we can, if you really want, you can start just keeping extra shirts and shit here, and if on days that are, like, really bad... You can just shower here if you have to, like before you before we film, because you can. It's right True. there. The thing is, I would want to keep shirts here, but then I'll be like at home and I'll be like, "Fuck, I want that shirt." Yeah, you know. And I don't want our podcast shirts to just be all of my like black shirts that I wear without the logos and shit. You know. You're not wrong. If you see him in one of X shirts, you know it was yeah. a shit day at work, and he had to gun it over to the house without no clothes. You know that I showered beforehand. Yeah, basically. But no, I'm. But no, we should we should work on stuff Thursday. But I do want to go see it and and the D and D movie. But that's my thing is like there's two there's two movies that like I want to see that one, but D and D I feel like we legitimately need to see that together. Oh yeah. And there's part of me that's like, I think we really should just say fuck it and go see it. I'm down. I would. Like, I would. Let's do it. go see that Thursday. I would do it over the weekend, but you know, I'm going to my parents' house to check on the cats, and then I have the concert, and then I'm coming home, and then I'm going to my parents' house, and then I'm coming home, and then I'm going to Lansing. Yeah. So the weekend is dead. And that's why I was like, fuck it. We already get together Thursday. We'll just do that. The thing is, I'll probably be out here around 6, 6.30 as well. Yeah. I'm coming from Lansing. It's not a good week. Yep. But, like, I feel like I, sh- I can't see that without anyone but you. Yeah. And I had other people ask me. They're like, you want to go see d and I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go see that with Brandon. Yeah. No, <laughs> we... Okay. We're good on episodes. Let's go see it next Tuesday. <laughs> I'm still in Lansing. <laughs> well. <laughs> Let's go Thursday, man. This Thursday? Yeah, I'll just... Oh, fuck it. I'll tell them I gotta leave at three. Be like, I got a date. I mean... Here's the thing. Is we can buy the tickets ahead of time. I'm pretty... I will double check that it's actually at the movie theater out here. I think it should be. Okay. And we'll just... Again, like... I don't know. Uh, I gotta... Actually, I gotta get with Chloe about the other stuff. Gotcha. Um, figure out when I can go pick that up. Yeah. 
she responds really slow. But that's fair. Yeah. But yeah, well, I gotta figure that out. Either way, we gotta pick a day, even if it's even if it's not a day that we usually get together. We should pick a day. We're gonna go see it. Melissa will have no problem just joining us and seeing it. Let's, and we should enjoy that. Let's go watch it. Do we go in costume? No. Because <laughs> to be fair, out here, there's not a single person in the world that would appreciate it but us. True. So, we can just go enjoy dinner and then literally walk to the theater because it's attached to the same yeah. set of buildings. And then watch it and go home. Because, like, the tap's fucking awesome. I hear it. I hear it's really good. Yeah, I, I hear it's really good. And then, like, I I literally ignored every single person kind of bitching about it. Because they were like, well, in this thing. And I'm like, literally, yeah. D&D is about fucking around. They made a movie that's about D&D fucking around. Like, that's it. Yeah, there was one person that was like, oh, they, I heard it a lot on the internet. But there was one person I know that was like, well, druids can't fucking do that. They can't turn into an owlbear like that. That's the only thing. And I was like, you wonder if I'm not. Fuck you. I mean, like, to be honest, it's one of those things where it's like, the whole game is about imagination and yeah, fucking around. Cool, yes, man. there is a certain set of like... I, there is rules as written. I get that. And I try to follow them as well too. But like, if you want to do something cool, that's the whole fucking thing, man. Yeah. Like... No, unfortunately, that like, cool. that's it. But, no, we should go see that soon. We should see Super Mario. And then, uh, after that, the next movie we're going to go see is The Machine. Probably. Yeah, you got to tell me what dates those were. May 25th, it's a Thursday. Okay, yeah, I remember I remember it being it's a weekday. It's at 9 o'clock. Yep. So we'll get there at like 8, whatever. Yep. Or we can go to Royal, because it's in Royal Oak. I believe that's the one I got. I think so. So yeah. we can actually just... Yeah, it's the Imagine and Royal Oak. I remember seeing that now. Yeah, so we'll just... And it's at nine, so we can go literally just get some dinner and then go watch the movie and go home. Yeah. It's a little late, but it's the premiere and it's kind of cool. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Um, there's something else I wanted to see. Uh, uh, um, Spider-Verse. Oh, yeah. I haven't even seen the other ones. Dude, it's... I've heard... I mean, I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. I just don't watch shit. There's, like, so many movies out there that I haven't seen that I need to. When you say the other ones, what do you mean? Spider-Man into, into the, uh, the, the other... Well, the one, other one. No, I haven't seen Homecoming, and I also haven't okay, seen... Okay, you don't really... Well, you might... Well, but I also see haven't it, but, seen yeah. Spider-Man into the... the the, the other yeah. cartoon one. It's no, gets I, it, into the uh, Spider Verse. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that one, so I'm behind. But I'm it's behind good. on a lot of shit, dude. I, I'm behind too. There's there's several movies I gotta watch. Uh, I can't think of one. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's several, but I can't think of it. That said, tomorrow, uh, Pokemon Stadium comes out on Nintendo Switch. I also thought that came out on Monday, because I mixed up my dates, and I got really excited thinking, like, oh, man, I'm going to have a day off to, like, <laughs> play Pokemon Stadium, and then I couldn't find it on Pokemon Stadium, and I double-checked, and I was like, oh, it's not the date. Fuck. And then, uh, yeah, it's been a weird week. It comes out tomorrow. Dude, it, yeah, it really has been a weird week. Like, I went to work Monday and did jack shit because they were installing toolkits, so I just sat there. Yeah. Um, I actually watched our latest episode to get, to get times for clips. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> like, I was sitting there, I was like, oh, I could just sit here and edit them all. And then I was like, no, I can't because <laughs> I don't have editing software there. No. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Just cut it right there. <laughs> we love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, uh, please have a great week. Uh, say something nice to someone you know. Yeah. Um, it, 
Bye, guys.